Here's how to set up a growth tool for a WordPress website. Now, the general way you're going to set things up are, is going to be the same uh, no matter what site you're installing them on. The idea is we're going to go to growth tools, pick a new growth tool. We're going to do a bar in this case. And the part we're really concerned with is the setup. You can customize the rest on your own. And we're going to install this JavaScript snippet. So this pretty much stays the same no matter what site you're on. You're going to install this in the head of your site. But first, we have to whitelist or authorize the website. In this case, we're going to do botsforcharity.com and hit enter. You can just paste in or do the naked URL. And it's going to put both the www version and just the regular URL. Once you've done that, go to B up here, and we're going to paste in this many chat code. So copy, and then head over to your WordPress website. Now, in this case, we're using the Divi theme. So if you go to Divi, theme options, and integration, you will see that we can add code to the head of the blog. And we would paste it in there and hit save. Now, I'm actually not going to at the moment. Uh, actually, you know what? I can. I'll just delete it after. So I'm going to save the changes. The other place that if you cannot, if you can't find a spot to paste in the head of, of your code, you can go to Appearance and Theme Editor. Now, I don't generally suggest you do this. Um, unless you know what you're doing. And in fact, you probably want to, to do this in a different editor, uh, like Sublime or similar, that lets you edit and save code before you screw it up in here. But you can, okay? And in this case, we would be doing it in header.php. And we can paste in the text here, uh, the question of where you paste it in is going to be different depending on your uh, your code and your theme, but it's a good bet that you can paste it in at the end of your file. All right, so that's where I'd probably recommend doing it as a backup if you can't do it uh, otherwise. Most themes will tell you how you can do this. You just have to search for inserting code in the header. All right, so once you've done that, I'm gonna head back over to ManyChat. So hit finish. And on the bar, we wanna make sure it's displaying where we want it to. And the more important part is where do we want it to display on site? What pages? By default, it's gonna display everywhere. So I'm gonna put show only on, and I'm gonna go to visit the site, I'm going to do, let's only show it on the home page. Okay, so show only here on mobile and desktop. And um, you can activate it and check. I don't think I actually generally do, but let's, let's check it. Why not? Let's see what comes up. I may pause the video here. Oh, nope, it's already finished. Okay, no errors found. We're cool. So these widget visibility this is always going to be an issue for Safari. Um, and it's going to tell you, look, if uh, if you've chosen not to to show this at certain times to people, here's what you're you've shown or you're going to show. So if we go back to bots for charity and I reload this page, we should see in addition to that little uh, on site widget here, Ooh, are we not going to show up? Oh, because we had to scroll 30%. So there's our widget, and we're all set. That is how you set it up for a WordPress website.